Hey everyone, welcome back to Willow Tree Woodworking. If you're new here, thanks for checking us out. In today's video, we're gonna talk about five different ways to source wood, either for free or for very little cost. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, stick around. All right, y'all, thanks for sticking around. Let's jump right into it. So number one on my list is construction sites. Uh, and the reason that I bring up construction sites is depending on where you live, there's probably some construction going around. And if you've ever visited one of these construction sites or you know, gone to any of the residential areas where they're building new homes, you will see that they throw away a ton of wood, uh, anywhere from like two by fours to plywood to MDF, cabinets, trim, all kinds of stuff, uh, hardwood floors, anything that's kind of a scrap they throw away. And that is a great resource for you to go and grab. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, I wouldn't suggest that you just walk up and start you know, grabbing stuff out of the construction site, definitely go find whoever the foreman is on site or find somebody who works in the construction area and ask them if you can take some of that wood. I don't think that most people are going to have any issue. Um, I've gone to a number of construction sites and found, you know, all kinds of wood from two by fours to four by fours, six by sixes, hardwood floors, MDF, all kinds of stuff. And really specifically, a lot of really cool looking trip. Um, specifically if you go to or especially if you go to some of these uh, newer construction sites where they're building some really nice houses you can find all kinds of stuff and those are great for projects doesn't cost you anything most construction sites have no issue with people coming or grabbing stuff and you know there's an ample amount so that's why it's number one on my list number two on my list is cabinet shops um, I have found that a lot of the local cabinet shops throw away a ton of scrap wood. Um, when they're building cabinets, they always have you know scrap that they just don't use or pieces that they're cutting off or what have you. I mean, it's a great place to go and check out. Uh, it doesn't hurt to just go and ask and say, hey, you know, do you have a scrap bin that I can pick through or, you know, anything like that. Um, most of these cabinet shops, you know, they build tons and tons of cabinets and they always have tons of scrap wood and they're always tossing it out. I mean, if you go there and you check it out and you go behind one of their buildings, you'll see bin after bin after bin of scrap wood. So <clears throat> number two on my list, cabinet shops. Go check them out. See if you can get some free scrap wood from there to use for your projects. Number three on my list is pallets. Um, this is very common in woodworking, especially with uh, those of us who have like side, side gigs or, uh, you know, side hustles that we make furniture. Most people, or maybe a lot of people, um, probably don't know that pallets are actually made of hardwood. A lot of them are made from hardwood, and you can get some really beautiful pallets. Uh, there are different kinds out there. Of course, there are some that are usable and some that are not. So definitely look up some uh, information on what pallets are good to use and which are not. Some have you know different stains or coatings and what have you on them that do not make for good furniture. But for the most part, Pallets are a great resource, especially if you're going to be making signs, if you're making coffee tables, end tables, anything like that. I've used pallets for years and years and have made some really beautiful furniture out of that. So number three on the list is pallets. Go find yourself some pallets. They're typically all free um, and they make a great resource for doing any kind of laser engraved signs, wood signs. Great place, great resource to use. Number four on my list, local wood suppliers. Um, those guys typically have all kinds of scrap bins. A lot of people go in there to buy plywood. They go in there to buy trim. Uh, they go, they're just basically like a wood supplier. Um, and you know, even cabinet shops go in there and buy all kinds of wood for making cabinets. And a lot of times when they're cutting this, uh, cutting that wood down, there are scraps that are left over that they just don't use. Um, and you can get some really nice wood that's just not, from their perspective, it's not sellable. So they typically toss it out or they'll have a scrap bin that you can go pick through and you can either get it for free or you can get it for a very reasonable cost. So number four on the list, local lumber stores. Go check them out. Facebook Marketplace, that is a great place to go and find free wood. People are always tearing down their fences. Really nice looking wood that you can use for making all kinds of projects, either laser engraved signs, you can use the wood for doing um, tabletops, for coffee tables, for end tables, sofa tables, you name it. I mean, sky's the limit when it comes to that kind of wood. And it's usually already aged and it's dried because they're, you know, typically what I go look for is fence boards. Anyone who is tearing down an old fence that's 20, 30 years old, 
that wood is just amazing the patina that's on it uh the coloring that's on it really beautiful wood and great for uh great for projects and most people who are tearing down a fence they're always looking for somebody to come and take that for them i mean because they don't really have any any avenue other than take it to the scrapyard or take it to the junkyard and toss it out so go on facebook marketplace look up free wood free fence wood anything that's kind of free on facebook marketplace you can usually find just a ton of stuff on there well y'all thank you for checking out my channel uh thank you for subscribing thank you for liking uh thank you for supporting the channel and we'll see you on the next one